Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Assalamu alaikum students. This is a, a paper, October 2021 and variant 22 of four levels mathematics paper two. So have a look uh, how to <clears throat> start this paper. We have given here in the first question, temperature at midnight is this and at 11 we have this. So some students don't know how to do this kind of question. Best technique, when you have a temperature differences is there, you can do on a number line, best technique. So if I do on number line, this question becomes easy. For example, this is zero, all of you know, then you have a negative one, then you have a negative two, then it continues and here we have negative 8.5. So what is gap? between negative one till negative eight. That he's asking for. So eight, negative one and negative 8.5. So don't care about the numbers, okay? And the sorry, signs, don't care about the signs. Simply subtract because negative sign is just for direction. Right side plus sign, left side negative sign. So it's very clear. So it means simply 8.5 minus one. It will give as our answer, um, or you can do another way, big value minus small value. And if it asks about the, what a big number, big number is minus one, smaller number is negative 8.5. This is a second method. So if you check it, answer turns to be 7.5. That's it. Or you subtract uh, 8.5 minus one. This is another way, but in both methods, uh, we get answers correct. And then when I subtract, I don't care about signs. I care about number and 8.5, that's it. And question is over. And question number two, we have, uh, there's a newly topic added 2020, okay. Stem leaf diagram is given by him an age of 15, uh, 15 women given here. Uh, <clears throat> and the way of writing is age. So three from here, one here. It turns to be 31 years. Three from here, five from here. It becomes 35 years. This is a, even he mentions here, how you use a, use a key. So I find for the first part, the modal age. When you talk about modal, modal age or mode, same thing. Mode is called maximum repeating number. One, five, eight, nine. This one, one, <clears throat> this one, one repeat two times. Then I think so, two, three, five, six, nine. 0 to 8. So nothing, no number repeating <clears throat> except this 1 and 1. In this sense, we can say these are 41 and this 4 and 1 again. So 41. So two numbers are repeating. So it means 41 years and 41 years. So modal age is 41 years. Okay, this part is clear. Median age, how to find median age? Median formula is, I'm writing it here, question number 2. Formula is n plus one divided by two. N is total number of uh, people as a 15, 15 plus one, 16. Uh, there's a formula fix for uh, either some student thing for even odd two different. No, we, this formula can use for even odd same. So I got an eighth place, eighth term. Eighth term is my median term. Eighth term, and you don't count from here, right? Why, sir? Because the smaller value is 31, not 39. So start from here and count eight place. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. This is my answer. So four from here and three from here. So 43. So 43 years is our answer. So Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen, we have done it this as well. Now percentage of women that are older than 51 years of age. So total, what is the percentage formula? Uh, what I'm looking for, like, uh, what is my favor, favor, what I need by total in 200. This is a, a one formula to apply. Or second technique, we can use it uh, by cross multiply method, both works, okay? So anyway, um, older than 51. So we're, we're, how many ladies are older than 51? So let's count. 50 is here. This is a 50, five, zero. This is a 52 years of age. So 52, 53, and 58. So three ladies uh, are, are, they have a age older than 51. So I can say here, 
favored by total and total women are 15. So I can say three over 15 times 200. So it means 100 and uh, three fives are, so it has become 20%. So 20% ladies are, uh, they have, their ages are older than uh, this one, 51 years old. So this is also clear. Now let's talk about question number three. And question number three we have here, change into minutes, hours. And we have a fixed criteria, hours to minutes and minutes to seconds. What is technique to do? Uh, multiply by 60 and multiply by 60. When I go backwards, then we divide by 60 and we divide by 60. So, but now I'm looking for hours to minutes so hours to minutes. So I will do simply multiply. So uh, we have a 2.15 into 60 and it will give us our answer. And I'm writing 2.15 into 60, answer become 129 minutes. So this point is also clear. Now I'll go for the question number next. And question number next on the next page. And next page, we have a question here. You can see four number and five number question. Okay, question number four. He said, if you statement, read the statement carefully, we have a two triangles, both are uh, and uh, both are in isosceles triangles. This is isosceles triangle and this is as well. So both are isosceles triangles. It means this length and this length equals to each other. Anyway, whenever this length equals to each other, if, if this uh, angle is X in front of this, so in front of this is also X, make sure. Okay, similar, similar pattern, similar pattern in this triangle, the other one, in this front of this and this angle equals to each other. I repeat again, so what is this angle and what is this? So this is a 58, so this is 100% 58, okay. Now, uh, I think we are close to our answer. Um, he's asking find X. We have two techniques, but the best technique here is if I concentrate the four side figure, like a quadrilateral. This is just like a quadrilateral. This is 86. This is single X. This become X plus 58. And this becomes 58. I repeat. Uh, this angle, if this you add them together, it I get this angle. And you know that four certain figure, either it is a square shape or a rectangle shape or a kite shape or um, palogram. The sum of the palogram, the sum of the all angles is 360. But if you don't know, we have a formula. Sum of the interior angles formula is N minus two times two, 180. If I plug in four in the place of N, so into two into I got a 360 degree. So in pentagon, I put five. In hexagon, I put six. So this point is clear. So I can add all X plus X plus 58 plus 58 and plus 86 is equals to 360. X plus X give you two X. And if I add all these three, so 58, plus 58 and plus 86, it will give us 202. And if I bring 202 on the other end, we'll subtract 2x is equals to 360 minus 202. And after that, two will divide and I'm writing direct answer and 2362, 202 subtract and that answer divided by two. And I get the answer 79 degree. Why degree? Because it is considered as an angle. That is why. So this question is over. Let's talk about a second question. Uh, we have uh, A rents a room of our party. Okay. And the cost of the renting the room is this much per first hour. And then for each hour additional, we have different cost. And total payment is this much. So, you know, best technique, I tell you, you, this is a first hour payment. And for example, you take for two hours. So first hour payment is this, second hour payment, you have to write 7.25. But let's say uh, you are paying, you, you take for three hours. So first hour is same, 
for the for the next two two hours for next for two hours this value into two. Okay, if we go for the three hours, this well three hours for example, so three hours and not total four hours actually. First hour this and next three hours we have to do multiply into three. So if I say that for the nth hour because I don't know how many hours, so I want to find number of hours. If I three hours into three, uh, so I don't know how many hours are there. But this is a fix. So I can say, for example, this n and so it n comes. So n hours, I'm writing here t hours. So this comes t. So I think the point is very clear. And if you add them, we will give you the total cost. And total cost we have given here. So I can see here, uh, I can complete it 15.50. This is the first hour cost. And the rest is rest number, the number of hours we have here, 7.25 into t because I don't know how many hours are there. And total cost is paying $95.25. And that's it. Equation is done and we can finish our quest answer. This will go on the other end. So 7.25t equals to 95.25 and minus 15.50. And then this will divide. So 7.25t and let me check 95.25 minus 15.50. I get here 79.75. And when I divide 7.25, I get 11 hours. So total number of hours are how many? So 11 hours total is a 11 hours for the rent. So this idea is also clear. Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen. Let's go for the next page. Next page, we have also three questions. Um, question number six, what is said here? Question number six, uh, without using calculator. This is a trouble. Majority of students have habit of using calculator. He said, use must you show working all and give us in a fraction in simplest form, fraction, not in decimal. So what is technique to do? Um, starting one over three, divis dividing by seven over six, and plus one over five. According to bad board mass property, for example, if two into two plus two comes some student by mistake add, or for example, this addition comes here and multiplication comes. So some student first add there. They think start from left. No, not like this. So we have to follow the board mass property first. Multiplication and division has higher priority as compared to plus and minus. So that is why I will do first dividing. So one over three dividing convert into multiply sign six up seven down. Then I I get it and now I will simplify. So this three ones are three three twos are six. I got two over seven. Now my question is something common between seven and five. I mean to say, can you divide on one common table? Answer comes no. When no, so seven into five comes here. And this five multiplied there, and this seven multiplied there. Okay, this allowed only in this specific situation. Otherwise, it is not allowed, allowed like this. So I got 10, 10 plus 7, 17. So 17 over 35. And this is my final answer. So Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen, point is very clear. <clears throat> now I'll go for next plan. And the next plan is we have. K has five white flowers, flowers and X red flowers. And this yellow. So first of all, you know, when you talk about probability, formula is favored by total outcome, by total outcomes. So we must need total flowers, how many? So five plus X plus this. So I'm writing total flowers. So this question number seven I'm doing here. So total number of flowers. So total becomes five plus x plus 2x plus 1. So this come from here, this come from here, and this come from here. Okay, after this, I'm going to add them. If adding 5 plus 1 give you 6, and 2x plus x give you 3x. So to, so what is the probability technique? Probability of any anything uh, you would want favor. But what is that? The probability of white. So naturally, white probability, if I'm asking you, so white up, five up, total down. And total is six plus 
3x. This probability I found, but one probability of white he given. This one by 12, I will keep it here. So one over 12 equal to five over six plus three X. Both and single fraction. So this will cross multiply there. So six plus three X and 12 fives at 16. And then this six goes there, 60 minus six. I get 54 and three ones are three, three sevens are. So we got 17 is our answer. Uh, but what a question he asking. So does he ask for, uh, does, uh, sorry, one minute, please. This is not 8, 17, 18, 3, 8 is 24. Okay. So uh, now, uh, so after this, we ask for probability for yellow. For probability for yellow is what technique to find for yellow color. Yellow color is, is this and total is this. So I'm writing 2x plus 1 and total is 6 plus 3x. Now simply x plug in here and here, and that is my probability of yellow going to come. So two times 218 plus one, and six plus three times 218. And just typing matter, I'm going to type in calculator. So 36 plus one, and divided by six plus 18 times to three. So answer becomes 37 over 60. So this is my answer for this part. And now I'm going for the next question. So next question we have here, number eight. And uh, how to type, either if you know it, how to type fraction, the calculator, he did not mention, he did not emphasize on workout. Calculate means use calculator. Okay, so there are two techniques are there. Either, you know, this is a power fund. This is a four means one over four. And this is a mixed fraction, convert into fraction form. So 16 times to 39 and plus one. I get 625 over 16. Okay, now just simply type in calculator. No need to, uh, I mean to say, no need to do any working. And uh, it is a very clear and easy, okay? So 625 divided by 16. And the whole power is one divided by four. And we get five over two or 2.5. 5 over 2 or 2.5, no problem at all, same thing. So this is also clear. And let's talk about the next question on the next page. Yes, we're in the question number next. We have number 9. Is right, This value is in order of size, starting with the smallest number. So smallest number, what is method to do it? Uh, actually, the all formats are different from each other. So first of all, best idea convert into one very one format. And like this is a 24 by 1000. If you type in calculator, it will it will give you uh, answer uh, in decimal form 0 0.024. And type the root 0.2 and it give us 0 0.4472. And 22 percent means 22 divided by 100. It gives us 0 0.22. And this dot on the top, it means it, it repeats forever, 0.2, 2, 2, 2, forever. Okay. Whereas this is stop after 0.22. Okay. What is this one? Uh, some students don't know. And what is the power negative one? Let me tell you if power is a positive, the decimal goes right side. If power is negative, decimal goes left side. So decimal is currently here. So when it jumps one side, left side, it becomes 0 0.21. And this negative one will it auto automatically eliminates. So uh, I just give one more example. Look at here. For example, 2.78 or, 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 or for example, 27 point uh, two into 10 to power negative two. And if I want to cancel this power, so it will jump two times left hand side, as I mentioned here. So this number will become 2.782 and this will automatically cancel out. So I hope so. Uh, this point is very, very clear. Okay, so, <clears throat> so this point is clear. <clears throat> now um, uh, I can move forward can move forward and uh, I can check now which smallest number. Smallest number 0 0.21 and 0. Point, but this is the smallest number. Look, 
after decimal two, 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 four, but here is the smallest number, I repeat. Uh, because look, first number, no need comparison because zero, zero, zero. But uh, first decimal place, first digit here, point two, here two, here two, here four, here zero. So this is the smallest number. So this I'm writing it here. So don't write this upper number, write 24 over 1000, done. So this is done. Now let's talk about second number, smallest. So 0.4 is a bigger, 0.22, this is a, I think this is a bigger than this. So this is a smallest point after that. Next smallest number is, small number is 0 0.21. And I'm going to write 2.1, 10 to power negative one. So this point is also clear. And after this, we'll go for uh, next point. And next is, we have uh, decided from these two numbers. Okay, so naturally this after two, two point, nothing number, nothing number mean I can put two zeros. Now you can decide from here, this is point two, two, zero, zero and two, 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 two. So naturally this number is a smallest. So now uh, smallest among those two. So 22 person I am writing here. Then I'm writing this 0 0.2 dot on it. And after that, this number is the largest num number among all. So I believe this point is very clear. Let's talk about the next question, uh, um, interior. Interior angle of regular polygon is 156. And what number of sides? Let me tell you, uh, we have a, a formula. I said before, this is a polygon. This is continuing, this is continuing. This, I don't know how many sides, but this is called interior angle I and T. And this is also called interior angle, and this as well called, there are many interior angles, we don't know how many sides are there. Okay, if you extend this line, any one side, so this is called exterior angle, because outside, interior means inside, exterior outside. We have one formula, interior plus exterior is equals to 180. That you can see even, uh, feel even, look a straight line on a wall, straight line is 180 degree. So interior 156, keep it here. So 156 plus exterior equals to 180. And if I subtract from here, so exterior angle becomes 180 minus 156, 24. But now we have a special formula to deal the number of sides. And formula is here, number of sides as a connection uh, with, uh, in this formula, 360 divided by exterior angle, exterior angle. Exterior angle, we got 24 and that's it. Alhamdulillah, we got, so 360 by 24 and we got 15 sides. So this question is also clear. And now I'm going for the question number 11. Question number 11 is little tricky. We have to concentrate more, some workout, then we can do it. On grid, complete a speed time graph. Uh, we can, uh, we have to draw here, and that is only possible if you uh, do some work. For example, read a car start from start from the rest. So it naturally start from zero. And as point is uh, 20 seconds. So you can see that this acceleration for the first 20 seconds is uh, given here. So there's no need to find out because it's already this part is given by him. How, how given? If you want to see that, like what is acceleration formula? A velocity by time. And velocity here is a 14 and time is given 20. If I divide, I get 0 0.7 meter per second square, which matches. So it means first part, no need to do. But if you have to do, you can do like this. So this part is already, we have it. He is saying that after, after that, before he moved constant speed of 14, it means after it will not go up and down. No, it, it will. It will. Uh, the car will move constant speed. I don't know how much. So let's decide for it. It travels with the same speed for the 210 meters. It means, and you know that whenever velocity time graph come, okay, speed time graph come, the area under graph is always distance. So this is called distance. So distance is actually equals to area. It means this. Uh, this is a 210 is a distance. So I know the formula uh, because if we move in a constant speed, I don't know how much. So it was, assume this much. So this will become our rectangle. 
and rectangle area is actually equals to length into width or width into height. Area is called distance. So 210 is a distance and, uh, and traveling speed. And you know that this height is considered the speed and that you know 14 because we know is a 14. So um, 14, I got it and I need to find this gap. So this is a width and 14 will go down and width is actually 210 over 14. I think this becomes 15. Let me check. 210 by 14. Yes, 15. So 15. 15 means it means this motion time is 15. But 15, uh, it means 20. Uh, this 20 come from here. If I add 15, I get 35. So it means the diagram I make roughly, it is a, a accurate diagram. So I'm going to make a line and make sure till 35. So this is done. Uh, because I know I got a time as the time is equals to 35. So 35 is this time where it will move. Okay, after that, uh, it decelerates uh, well, decelerates until come is until stops. So it means stopping, but I don't know it stops here. It stops here. It stops here. I don't know. So how to decide the stop? So we have to read the next part. He said that deceleration is 1.4. So what is the formula of acceleration? Deceleration is, um, you can say that uh, uh, the velocity by time or speed by time in this condition. Okay. Uh, naturally, speed is confirmed because 14, 14, 14, 14 is going on. So 14 is here. And acceleration, we have even 1.4. And time, I want to find time goes there. So 1.4 into D is equals to 15. And time, I get what? So 15 over 1.4. And when I find 15 divided 1.4, it gives us um, it gives us um, 10. Or it, because the problem is that here we're we getting. So the answer is coming in decimals. Answer is coming in decimals. And uh, because uh, that we have to, this is, sorry, this is not a 15, it's a 14, sorry, it's a 14. So this is a 14. This is one mistake I have done. That is why answer comes very awkward number. Now this is a mistake only 14. So I get 14 by 14 divided by 1.4. I get a 10 second, 10 uh, second, sorry. So it means uh, after 35, we add 10, I got a 45. So the time becomes 10 plus 35 become 45 seconds. So it means uh, it will ending time is 45. And I'm going to make a final line from starting from there and ending at 45. And this is my uh, final speed time graph is done. And now I'm going for the question number next. Okay, so question number 12 now. In question number 12, if you look at carefully, uh, we have given here uh, three sequences, A, B, C. So we can check that uh, three minus eight, every time first check for arithmetic progression, then geometric progression, some then after something else. So three minus eight, we get a, um, we get a minus five. Negative two, negative three, we get a minus five. Negative seven, negative, negative plus, we got a negative five. So it means sequence A, if you talk about, so what is the uh, first term is eight. You can see that first term is eight and common difference, I'm getting three minus eight is equals to negative five. So what is the formula of arithmetic progression? A plus N minus one into D. I'm plugging the values A to come here and as it is, D is negative five and eight and negative five multiply inside negative five and negative, negative, positive five, eight plus five, 13 minus five n, and this, I got the nth term, nth term is clear. So this part is done. Now let's talk about the second sequence. This is done. Second sequence B. When you talk about sequence B, what we have, actually this look like in the start, is very different. We try first AP or GP, he is very clever. Actually, he given two, so we can write this two two by one. Now see two, three, four, five, six, and down one, two, three, four, five. 
So it means now it is very clear. So it means the numerators, I have to start from two. Uh, so uh, upper part A is two and common difference three, three minus two, one. So you have one, one, one difference. So D is equals to one. This is talk about the upper sequence, okay. And when talking about the lower sequence, one, two, three, four, although I can write directly, but suppose some students don't know what to write, what to do. A is one common difference, also one, like A1 is there and two minus one is one. So apply both formula separate, A plus N minus one times two D, even same formula I apply here. Okay, A, right like this. So A comes two and common difference is one. So Tn is two plus N minus one into one. Open the bracket, ultimately I got N plus one. Now let's talk about, uh, let's talk about the other one. Other one means the right hand side is A is one and D as well one. So if I solve, I'll get one, N sorry, because one plus N is minus one plus one cancel later on and I will get only N. Now we're going to combine and combining. This come for the numerators and this come from the denominators. So it means N plus one over N. So we have done both sequences. Now I'm going for the C sequence. When you talk about C sequence, um, so actually, if you look at carefully again, um, like, uh, like first I tried this minus that, uh, and this one is this, so answer is not same. So it's not arithmetic progression. But when I check is geometric progression, it works. How it works, for example, this into two, I got it. This two into two, I got it. Into two, I got it. Similarly, this into two, I got it. So multiply into two. So first term is a half and common ratio we get always sec third term divided by first term. So the third term by the second term, I got two. Or fifth term divided by the fourth term. Again, I get a two. So I'm not doing this. It's a little bit complicated for you, but still is okay. So now what is the formula of the geometric progression? A, R to power N minus one. A is a half and R is a two and power N minus one. So this, uh, and he said that, um, if we leave it here, no problem at all, but better for the full marks, we have to simplify as maximum. What is this power two? If I bring it in the numerator, power become negative one and is already negative. And same basis, power add, like x to power a into x to power b, answer turn to a plus b. Same story here, two to power negative. So negative one and negative one, if you add them all, so n minus two, this is my final answer. Okay, now I'm going for the next question. Next question, you talk about this one. So what a question is, I'm doing it here. Um, yeah, here, I'm space issue. So I'm, he said that, write this as a single power of three in the term of N. So power of three means, what is 243? 243, you must know it, that three eights are 24, three ones are three. three Again, I divide in three, nine, three, 27 times 81, three nines are 27 and three threes are. So it means one, two, three, four, five. So three to the power five is 243. So I'm just showing you here. Five is 243 and three to the power three is equals to 27. So I'm going to plug in here. So what I'm getting uh, the, after that, two to, so three to the power five, three to the power five into three to the power three, but make sure on the top, two and on the top. And I'm going to show you two and like this, three to the power five into and power to power, they multiply. So three to the six N and same basis when they multiply powers always add. So it means three to the power five plus six N is the answer of a part. So this is a, a part. 13A part I have done here. Okay, now I'm going for the uh, this question 13B part. I'm writing it here, 13B part. What a question is, we have given this K, K is a prime number, uh, greater than three, 
he said write 6k square so let's write 6k square means 6k square and k value is the whole thing will come here it means 2 times 2 3 to power 2 3 to power 3 i got it from where this is a k value i got from here this 6 come here this power 2 comes here as it is uh, he said uh, express 6 6 k square answer in the product of prime factors okay so prime factors how to find it uh, so this 6 is a not prime number i can write 2 into 3 now it turned to be prime factor because 6 is a not a prime number make sure and this is a oh, sorry i did one mistake here on the top this power 2 goes on to 2 to the power 2 so i got 2 to the power 2 this 2 to, this also got 2 2 is a 4 so 3 to power 4 and here power to power multiply i get p to power 6 how many twos we have two is the power is what one this one power and this two add up you got a three so two to power three and this the power is three is one and four so four and one adds like this one and this four adds so add up so become five and p to power six as it is this is an answer of six k square he, and he was asking to convert into uh, prime uh, prime factors and in terms of p and that's my question is done and now i'm going for the next question uh, 13 is over let's talk about um, 14 number first then we'll talk about the others 14 number question is what we have if you read a question carefully we given here three points on the circle and uh, we have a triangle and we have a triangle so st is a tangent write down a value of x and all of you know we have a one circle property before i start circle property circle property is what we have and whenever we have a uh, this circle thing for example and we have a tangent make sure tangent and at tangent we have this kind of triangle i'm going to show you and what the property says this is called the, the angle between this tangent and this is let's say x and this is uh, uh, this angle is not equal to this wrong is equal to this one this is called alternate segment theorem similarly this angle is y and this angle is equals to not this one not the other one the other one this one alternate angle so this is property is there if we try to match it so this x equal to this one so this x equal to say 55 so alhamdulillah rabbil alamin this pro this angle directly equal to that so x is directly equal to 55 and what is the reason alternate 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 segment theorem segment theorem okay there's a statement for it alternate segment theorem and another part or another tangent from the point s touches the circle V. It means I'm going to show you what he's talking about. Another tangent from point S touches a circle at V. So look, from S, I make another tangent. You can see this. So S to S to R and make sure one thing, this point is somewhere here. Let's say this is a, a K. So make sure S to K length and S to R length always equals to each other. Read it. Another tangent from point S touches the circle at V. Sorry, this is not a K, this is V, sorry. V. All right. So given geometrical representation, Y, S, V, R is associated triangle. And I just tell you the main property, the main property of circle, what is the property we have? Whenever we have a two tangents, I'm going to show you uh, this tangent number one, this tangent number two. And when we make it, so this is uh, another line i'm going to make it if i join this point with this point so i get a special and this length and this length equal so this will behave as an isosceles triangle and what does it give a geometrical reason so you can say that um a length of two tangents so i can see here length of uh, lengths of two tangents 
two tangents from a common point, from a common point, from a common point, common point are equal, are equal. So if they are equal and two lengths are equals to each other, common sense, this become an isosceles triangle. So I think point is very, very clear. And this question number 14 is also done. And now I'm going for next question. So question number 15 now, I'm going to start. He say given A point and B point. He said that give equation of line we need to find. How to find equation of line number 15 I'm going to do here. First of all, I find gradient. And best technique before you start, label here x1, y1, x2, y2. In this way, chances of mistake reduces. Formula is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So let's start. y2 is 31 minus 16, 31 minus 16, and then 8 minus 3, 8 minus 3. And I got 15 by 5. I got then becomes 3. But the question is not over. So because we need to find not the gradient only. No, we have to find um, the side of uh, the C as well, Y intercept. So for that reason, Y equals to MX plus C. Now I will use this M value here. I'm writing is three here in the place of M. And after that, plug in any number, any coordinate, either the first one or second one in the place of, I use the first one. This will come in the place of X. So I'm writing three here. And this 16, I'm writing the place of Y. So 16 equals to three, three is a nine, and it becomes seven. So 16 minus nine, it gives you seven. And now final answer I'm writing Y is equal to MX plus C. So three X plus seven, this is our final answer. Now I'm going for the next question. And the next question he's asking us is in a 15 B part, this equation of line is given by him find the gradient of the line perpendicular to this line. So this line, so first of all, I'll go for, uh, this is a 15B part, this is a 15A part. Now I'm going for 15B part. So Y is equals to 0.5X minus 11. 0.5 or half, same story. Okay, so he's asking find the gradient of line perpendicular. And you know it very well uh, that whenever 90 degree given, if this gradient is whatever three over two, assume this would be negative two over three. So flip the side chair, the, the values and the change the sign. Here plus, here become minus. So it is a neg half. So what is the perpendicular? So gradient of the perpendicular line, perpendicular line. So one over two, you flip become two by one. And here plus sign, here become minus, or you can write negative two. Or if you don't like fraction form, so this is a negative reciprocal means I'm going to do the other way. So look at it in the term, negative one over 0 0.5. Negative comes the opposite sign of this and the reciprocal means 0.5 divided by one. So you can type in calculator, it will give you again same. Again, it give you negative two. So Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen, this point is also covered. And now I'm going for the next question. And next question we have on the next page, okay, on this page, we have a two questions here, 16 and 17. Uh, Sachin picks a number random from the first three, num uh, first three num multiples of three. First three multiples of three. First three multiples of three means three ones are three. Three twos are six. Three threes are nine. So these are called multiple of three. So common sense here, three already, nine already. So in the middle, I will write six, right. He picks then a number random from the first three prime numbers. So the prime numbers, you know, I discussed many times. So uh, two is a prime number because two into one give you two and one into two give you two. No other way to get two. So two is a prime number. Three is also prime number. Three ones are three and one three is a three. And no other way to get three. So three is a prime number. Four is a four ones of four. Two of uh, sorry, one fours of one fours of four. One fours of four. But we have another way, two into two. So it is not a prime number. Four is a composite number. 
So five is also a prime number. Five ones are five, and one five is a five. So five is the prime number. I hope so got the idea. So here I'm writing five. Okay, this is done. Now he said that, fill it. If it's, look at, we have a hint. He adds the total. So two plus three got a five, hint. Two and nine got a 11. So what does six plus two give you? Eight. Three plus six give you nine. Three and nine give you 12. And five plus three, eight, 11 and 14. I think this is nothing hard at all. Given that the score is even, this is called a conditional probability whenever given, given that come, this is called conditional probability. Conditional probability. And whenever conditional probability comes, what is the way to handle it? After given that, what a score will go directly in denominator. So I mean to say, uh, what is in the, in the, so score is even. So after given that, what is the proverb will go in denominator. Score is even, so I wrote score is even, okay? And now read a statement, but you will not read, okay, read a statement, how? Find the probability that one of the number, he picks nine. But you will read how together, and the, this given that word, you replace by and. And now read all together. Find the probability that one number he picks nine and the score is even. Like this is a way of reading. I repeat again. I read combinedly what the way he writes. So one of the number he picks is nine. Picks number is nine. And the score is even. So picks is nine. Nine here is not possible. And nine is here possibility only. So picks the nine and and he gets the even number. So in the column of this nine, even numbers comes two times here and here. This is not even number. So this is an odd number. I repeat, find the probability that one of the number he picks is nine and the score is even. So it means in the column of nine, how many num even numbers come? Two times comes only. So it means uh, the number is nine. Number is nine. I'm writing and in the middle, and, and, and the score is even number. Score is even. How to answer for it? Even score, we can find even score. How many even score count, please? Even number, even number two, three, four, five. So five out of how many total values count? Don't count those numbers because these sums are in the bracket here in the box. So total numbers are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So it's nine, five out of nine. I repeat, score even number score is um, how many even numbers? 12 even number, eight even number, six even number, eight and 14. So five numbers out of nine is a even number probability. And now I talk about the number is nine, but score is even. So number is nine and score is even. So it comes two out of nine. So Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen, this nine and nine cancel out. And I got two over five. So this is a way to handle the conditional probability. Many students confuse here. What to, how to handle the given that. Okay. So this idea is clear. How to deal with this question? I have space issues. So I'm writing the top number 17. So we have to solve it. Simple technique is that whenever product of two numbers is equals to zero, not any other number, I talk about zero. This any other number, two, three, four, seven, eight, I am bound to multiply and I bring the other number here and solve for quadratic formula or factorization. But now, because we have zero, so either this part equal to zero or this part equal to zero, I can say, so 5x minus 3 equals to 0. This only option available when equal to 0. 3 goes on other side. 7 goes on other side. So 5x is equal to 3. And x is equal to 3 over 5 is my answer for it. And 2x is equal to negative 7. And x is equal to negative 7 over 2. So alhamdulillah rabbil alameen. I have done both questions easily. Alhamdulillah rabbil alameen. So let's go for the next questions. On the next page, we have uh, this question is also one of the most important questions and newly added in our syllabus. 
this is called linear and non-linear. When a power of two is called non-linear, and the power highest power in this equation is one, and highest power in this equation is two, so this is called non-linear. And this is called linear. So what is technique? We can we have to solve them, and non-linear will give you curve, and linear will give you this kind of thing. So they are intersecting at two coordinates. So he is asking to work out and get those answer. Look at here, we have two pairs we needed. So I will replace this y value here or this y value here. So I put them equals to each other indirectly. X to power two, negative nine x plus 21 equals to two x minus three. Because when they intersect the values of y is and equals on each, each other. So I bring on the both values left hand side, minus nine x, negative two x, plus 21 plus three equals to zero. I brought this both value on the left hand side. Negative two, negative nine give you negative 11 X and 21 plus three give you 24. Now we can factorize and you know fair, possible fact of 24 X to power two, the product comes. What is possible factors 24 into one, eight threes are 24, 12 to the 24, six four the 24. So, but eight plus three give you 11. So x squared copy, 24 copy, first and last term, and negative eight x and negative three x will give you negative 11. And if you multiply these two, we get the answer. So Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen, here x common, here negative three common. And we are getting the right, why? Because they match. If they match, answer right, not match, so some mistake. Now again, you know it equals to zero, equals to zero. And when equals to zero, either first part equal to zero or second part equal to zero. Here I got eight, here I got three. Now don't leave it here, this is eight. You will put either linear or non-linear, but better to put in the lean, uh, linear equation. So y is equals to two times to eight, 16. 16 minus three, you got a 13, alhamdulillah. Similarly put three there. So y is equals to two times to three, six. Out of six, three gone, we got a three. So pairs, we got eight and 13 here, I'm writing. X is eight, Y 13, and three and three. And Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen, we have done it as well, three, three, and eight, 13. So this question is also clear. And let's talk about, it means one point, sorry, this one point here, and, and this one point is here. So let's talk about the next page. On this page, we have um, uh, we have two questions given here. One set and one is a function. Okay. So first of all, let's deal sets question. Sets question. How can deal it? Um, he, he talk about to shade the region for the this one. So what is technique to do this kind of question? Uh, I I you know, we can do even direct even, but best technique is that best technique is what I like. I will make this diagram two times, this one time, this two time. Okay, after this, I'll make the same diagram here. Okay, all right, because a rough idea only, make it. All right, this label A and B and A and B, okay. And this, I will copy step by step. Here, A complement, here, B complement. In the middle union, I'll copy the union in the middle. Now I'm going to write, what is A complement? Every person knows, except the circle of A shared everything. So this blue, I don't need. I will share the rest all. So I'm sure you got the idea what I'm saying. What is B complement? Except the circle of B shared everything. So this is done, Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. So this is also done. What is union then? Union is called common region and uncommon region. Okay. So this outer outer shading here and here common. So I will take here. This I'm taking here outer part. Outer part I am taking. Done. Okay. This is uh, shaded here present. This is not present. This is called uncommon shading. But I will take it because union. And this is present. It is not present. I will take it because of union. And this is two white regions like a uh, not. So I will leave it. So this is a whole thing. And now I'm going for the question number two. 
Again, I will do question number two in two, uh, making, drawing two diagrams. Okay, what is technique to make it? And you feel person become easier in this way. So, Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen, I'm going to do this question same way. It will not take too much time. Okay, this is the first is C union D. I am writing here C union D. And this E complement, I am writing here E complement. Middle, you have an intersection. I'm writing intersection. So first of all, my students, I will follow uh, C union D. And you know C is here and D is here. C union D, if I have a C and D, C and D, so union means common and uncommon. This is a common part and this is called uncommon part. In short, whole thing. So it means I will take C and D complete circles. Okay. And this is E complement, E, com e is below except circle of E shade everything. So I'm shading everything except E. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen is not hard to do it. Now, what is this common shading? Common shading is where, let's decide with the common shading. This part is present here and this part is shaded. So both are shaded. So I'll take it. Okay, this part is shaded here and this part is shaded here. So I will take it. Okay. And this part is shaded here, this small part. So I will take smaller part even. So take it. And I think so, nothing left. This is a common region which I have done it. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. Both questions are clear. Now I'm going for question number two zero. And when you talk about 20, okay, this is a question of the function topic. So F A part 21, F uh, of six. What is F of six? Actually, we have F, F of six. What is method? Put F in, six in F, and put the whole thing in this one. So first of all, what is my job? I will copy the function of F as it is, first of all. And you know my habit, I always copy. Then I replace every X by empty space. You see, empty space. Now I will put six in a both places, six here and six here. And all of you know it, uh, uh, six minus three give you three. And two to the power three give you eight. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen, this part over. But question is not completely over. I'm going to do again this process. Again, I'm copying f of x, and f of x is this function. Copying the function is not important, but it makes question easier for you. And you see, every time as a uh, as a you uh, as a teacher, I just do the same process here. Empty space. Okay, this f of six will come here, and this eight will go here. So f of six comes here and eight comes here. So f, f of six equals to eight minus three, five, and two to the power five is actually equal to 32. And Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen, I got first part done. Now I'm going to do B part. B part is G inverse G of X plus two. For your knowledge, G and G inverse of anti of each other directly answer comes what in the bracket? Whatever in the bracket directly, that is our answer. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen, this part also done. Now I'm going to do C part. C part is, uh, is mentioned F of X. Okay, I'm copying. Right hand side, H of 84. In short, 84, I have to plug in in H of X. So I'm copying five as it is, X minus four. So 84 minus four. And F of X is copied from here. 2 to power x minus 3. So when I solve this one, so let's see what happens. It happened. So a, a 5 divided by 80, and I get 1 over 16. And now you have to deal with the same basis criteria. What is 16? If you don't know, do this way. 2 4 za, 2 2 za. Or 2 to power 4 give you 16. I'm replacing here 2 to power 4. And you know it after this, what is next technique? Bring in the numerator. Uh, it become it will become i'm going to solve here so 2 to the power x minus 3 equals to 2 to the power negative 4 and write a one sentence same basis when you write same basis here what i will do 2 to gone and x minus 3 equals to negative 4 and x becomes negative 1 alhamdulillah rabbil alamin this question also done now i'm going to do for the next page and next page we have Question number 21 and 22. 21, he said, expand. Question number 21. So 21, he said, expand. And what is technique to do? I know some student, 
they uh, you can do one thing write it two times and multiply but i like the other way first term squared negative 2 into first term second term plus second term square and second term just copy i mean to say this whole thing copy but if you don't like this technique so you write this x minus 3 two times x minus 3 x minus 3 and then you multiply 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 and multiply and write it here in the bracket but i use squaring identity this is called squaring identity so due this minus come from here and this x i'm going to show you this x will come this and this bracket like this like three comes here and here in this way less chance of mistake and a more accurate and time saving method x square minus 6x three to the six into x and then i'm going for three square nine and 2x plus 5. This is also newly added in our syllabus. x squared into this, if I multiply what I get, 2x to power 3. x squared into 5, I get a 5x to power 2. 6x into this, I get negative 12x to power 2. This into this, I get negative 30x. 9 into 2, 9 to the 18x. And 9 fives are 45, alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Now I'm just writing in order these two uh, plus five and negative, we got a negative seven X to power two. These two, you get a negative 12 X and plus 45 and that is done. So this part is also over. Now I'm going to discuss with you uh, the last part of the question here in how to solve this one, 22 number. Seven sine X plus two is equals to zero. First this two goes on the other side. And seven here, then seven divides, it gives you negative two over seven. So we have a, this property you can see here, cast property. Cast means C A S T, cast. C, C for cause, A for all, S for sine, and T for 10. And in short story, I'm saying, let's talk about sine. Here, all and here, sine. So sine and sine is positive here. And here, cause 10 means. The sign and sign negative here. So this cross I make for only sign. So sign positive in first, second quadrant and sign negative in third and fourth. Because we talk about negative, so I will make this kind of lines. I think you understood. For a while, this X will take alpha and sign will go on other end, but don't include negative sign. We'll type this without negative sign. And sign inverse two divided by seven, I, I get alpha. 16.6. So this angle you will copy between line and x axis. Line and x axis, always, never y axis. And what is the rule of measurement? Start from positive x axis and till line. How much do you think this is 180 degree and plus this one? So my answer is very clear. So first answer bring back this x back. So 180 plus 16.6. I write again 180 point. Second is other one I'm show blue color in diagram. So from here till here, actually full circle is circle is 360 degree, but this angle I don't want. It means 360 minus 16.6. And final answer I am writing here is first answer turned to be 163.4 and 360 minus 16.6. The other answer is coming 343.4. And Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen. So the question is very, very clear. We have done this as well. And now I'll go for the, uh, I think the last page we have on the top of the paper. So uh, simplify, how to simplify this one? So from denominator is a very clear, I think take two common. If you don't know, two x to power two and two double eight. So two common, when it is two common, x square copy, two ones are two, four and four. So at two common, I got x squared minus 144. And you know, a squared minus b squared criteria is very important. So that I'm going to apply in denominator. This is a square of x and this is a square of 12. And then I can apply and you know it in denominator, I can say one time x and 12 add and one time x and 12 subtract. Actually, we have a p to power 2 minus 16. 
So one time we can write these two brackets here four, here P, and values in the bracket, one time add, one time subtract is a fixed criteria. Same I applied here, here, here. Let's talk about a numerator from the upper part, if you don't know, so 3xy, uh, comma, 36y. What is common? First of all, y, y match, y common. I got 3x and 36, then three common. I got x and 3, 12 time. So three y common from first two values. And inside I got X and 12. So I got X plus 12. Similarly, I can talk about 5X and 60. So 5X is 60 is very clear, five common, five ones of five, five 12, so same match. So negative five is compulsory. And now do the match bracket values, let's take it out. And when I take it out students, this and this gone out, what left? This and this left. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen, this is done. And I'm copying once again, X plus 12 and three by one is five. And uh, this is a uh, completely cancel out. This one is very clear. And final answer is writing here, three Y, three Y and uh, minus five divided by two times two X minus 12. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen, the paper is completely over.